Give us the flag, please. Yes, sir. C D Chucky Jeremy. Here. C B Tom Pete. Here. C C Jimmy Lafont. Here. C D Rodney Disclair. Here. C D Ted Savoy. Here. C D F Larry Griffin. Here. C G John Melison. Here. C D H Mike Calais. Here. C D I Chris Calais. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Collier. Next, we have approved minutes for February 6, 2023, February 8, 2023, and February 22, 2023 meeting. Need a motion? Move. Move. Second. Move by Mr. Larry, second by Mr. Mellison. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion pass. Next, we have executive director's report. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first is our northern expansion projects, northern expansion, slip C, and flotation canal bulkhead. PC and Associates. Joe. Yes, APC is the contractor. Um, they are substantially complete with the project. Uh, we do have a certificate of substantial completion on the agenda for approval. Um, they finished, uh, well, two Thursdays ago on the 23rd of February. Um, everything is on order. There's no real, no punch list, so everything looks good. Okay. Any questions? All right, the Northern Expansion Slip C and Flotation Canal Sweep Dredging Project. Yeah, Coastal Dredging Company, Inc. is the contractor. We gave them the, the notice to proceed for Monday, and they do plan on moving in uh, to start sweep dredging the material on the outside of the bulkhead uh, sometime later this week. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Northern Expansion Slip D Bulkhead, GIS Engineering. Okay, this is the bulkhead that's going to start where Joe's bulkhead lead, uh, stopped. Um, we are ready to start advertising. We're coordinating with staff when we'll start that. That's probably looking, though, at a late April, early May time frame. Any questions? Yeah, how many feet is that? 2,400. Thank you. Good answer, Mr. Pleasons. That was quick. Thank you. Thank you, Serena, for having it up on the board where I can easily see it. <laughs> <laughs> any, any further questions for Mr. Pleasons? Okay, thank you all. Thank you. All right, the airport projects. David Brew. Uh, aircraft operations for last month were 1,363 passengers, 7,726, and vehicle count at the airport was 16,141 vehicles. Any questions? All right, the Airport Connector Road and Bridge, PCO and Associates. Yeah, Sea Level Construction is a contractor. Uh, currently, right now, he's working on um, um, putting the uh, forming for the main tower columns. Uh, he's got the east side done, and he's working on the west side. We did work out a fix for the the, the mistake that was made on the west, on the west side columns. Uh, so they're they're preparing to start um, putting those rebars in and start working back on form and pouring concrete on the columns. They're also working on the corridor uh, itself between 3235 30, 30 and LA1, uh, primarily doing drainage, uh, initial drainage and uh, roadway base work. Okay. Any questions for Joe on that project? We didn't have any issues on the east side columns. No. Well, they they did. Uh, but they didn't have to break out any concrete. Okay. So we just have to add the rebars that were initially left out. Good. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay, thank you. The Airport Terminal Surcharge Project, GIS Engineering. Okay, the contractor has pretty much done all the work on this project. Um, so we'll be meeting in the next week or so to, to get substantial completion, and we'll have that on the all agenda for the next month. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay, the PAPI LED upgrades. On the all agenda later on is to uh, approve and award the contract to the low bidder, which was preferred electric in the amount of $111,020. 
and this Any will questions? upgrade all the lights to LEDs in that area. <clears throat> okay. Any questions on that? Thank you, John. Okay, thank you. The approach obstruction removal project. David. Approach obstruction removal contract, LMB, if the contractor, if he has completed the work, uh, he still does have a request for additional compensation that Bryce is negotiating with him, but the project is complete as far as the contract were written up. And we submitted final payment, correct? Okay. No, we still have the remaining business right. to handled, but as far as the <coughs> Any questions on it? Okay, moving on to other projects. The Fouchon Pavilion, PCL and Associates. Yeah, Onshore Construction's mm -hmm. a contractor right now. They're working on, uh, they've installed the limestone around the building. Uh, they've done all the concrete work. They're working on electrical uh, hookups right now. And they're working on the wooden fence uh, around the uh, enclosure area. Uh, we do have a change order on the agenda um, for $19,000 in change. It's for, um, we decided to move the electrical service along the property line, so we have some additional conduit we had to add, and we added some uh, geotextile fabric under portions of the limestone. So we recommend approval of that. They should be wrapping up in the next couple of weeks is what I'm thinking. Okay. Any questions for Joe on that project? All right, the flotation canal and front commercial marina dredge project. Yeah, this is dredging of the front, front marina and uh, locations along flotation canal in front of the mooring dolphins. We accepted bids on February the 28th. Um, let's see, uh, we had six bids, all were in order, and the low bidder was Coastal Dredging Company, Inc., in the amount of 3802000 Four hundred ninety-two dollars and sixty cents. Uh, that bid's in order, so we recommend you award that. Okay. Any questions on that project? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. The port security Elwin system. John. We're scheduling a meeting with all the agencies involved to review that updated pricing for Motorola. Once the agreement is approved, they'll proceed. All right. Any questions for John? Thank you, John. Right, the Leeville LA-1 Construction Canal Dredging and Mitigation Project, Angelette Design. All right, this project is, um, is currently advertising to receive bids on Tuesday, April 4th. Um, we have a contract construction timeline mm -hmm. of about 140 days. Um, so given uh, probably take about a month to get the project awarded and everything ready to go and notice to proceed late April, early May, uh, we should be complete with this project sometime in August. Okay. Any questions on this? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, New. All right. The Hurricane Ida repair projects. First is the administration building. Davey. The administration building, the plans design group, the engineer, PC Ola Construction <coughs> is the contractor. They completed the roof work on the main, on the building, and uh, painting is done in, on the interior. They're working on AC, electrical, and uh, finishes on the inside. Job is progressing there. Any questions? All right. Nerby Collins Marina Bucket Dredge. So Plaisance Drag Line is the contractor. They've been dre dre uh, bucket dredging in the marina for several weeks now. Uh, they are starting to haul. Uh, they've relayed material onto the land, and then they're hauling it uh, to the um, to the area near the front marina, um, that's going well, and everything everything on the project is progressing well so far. All right. Any questions on that project? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The demolition of the old PHI office. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we uh, Lowland Constructions the contract on this project. We gave him a notice to proceed on Monday. Uh, he's got the building pretty much torn down, and he's. Um, He's hauling it off in dumpsters right now as the dumpsters come in. Okay. And, and further to that, uh, gentlemen, Davey's been working with um, Trinity All Field Tools, and they are interested in, um, in leasing that site and putting a building themselves on that location. So um, as the importance of getting this project completed, 
uh, as quickly as possible is we have a tenant that wants to utilize it. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> Any questions? Okay, thank you. Operations Center, EOC, and Ops Maintenance Warehouse. Davey? Ritter Mayor is the architect on this project. Uh, they completed the roof on the EOC as well as the Operations Center. They've moved to the interior of the Operations Center doing work there, and they have all the material on order for the warehouse, so they are proceeding <coughs> and moving forward on the, working on all three buildings. Any questions? All right. The boat lift roof and wharves repairs, GIS engineering. Okay, this is Tidewater Docks Project. Uh, we've got two things, and they're kind of on hold right now, pending uh, the work in Derby Collins Marina. I've got two things on the agenda for y'all later on. The first is a partial substantial completion for the work at the Storm Harbor Marina up in Golden Meadow and several of the wharves in the uh, Commercial Fisherman's Marina, basically everything but S2 and N8. S2 is the one next to y'all boat lift. N8 is the one next to uh, Moran's uh, boat, lift, boat launch. Um, we also have a change order number four for y'all in front of $129,250.31, about 71000 of that is FEMA work, and that is basically work at N8 and S2, which is why he hasn't gotten substantial completion on those. Uh, but everything's in order. We recommend that. He's doing a good job so far. Okay. Right, any questions? <coughs> Go ahead. As we speak in the with Tidewater Down, uh, Donald Vizier has cancer came back. He's still with cancer. He's at MD Anderson right now for treatment yeah. and uh, supposedly it's aggressive. So you'll keep him in your prayers. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any questions on the project? And we wish uh, Mr. Vizier all the best for sure. Uh, airport terminal repairs. Okay, they are finalizing the fence on this project. Basically, all they have to do is put in the gate controls, and they'll be moving on to the roof and then the interior work. All right. Any questions? Okay. The okay. flotation canal mooring dolphin repairs. Angela Design. Yeah, so notice to proceed on this project was issued on February 15th. Um, that contract is sea level construction is currently securing and fabricating materials for the project. They anticipate starting the field operations in the next two to three weeks. Um, as soon as we have a schedule, I'll share it with the port so that you all can share it with the, the tenants and um, the mariners in the area. Okay. Any questions? All right. Thank, thank you, you, Neil. All right. That concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank all you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chasson. Next, we have public comment. I know we have Ms. Uh, Janet Rodas that wants to address the board. Okay. We have three minutes to speak to the board. Good morning. Thank you for letting me come, Chet. Um, I'm sure uh, most of you have already heard about our festival we have coming up. Uh, um, March 31st is the, starts at 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. It's the Louisiana Boulettes and Balloon Festival. Um, our, uh, I'm proud to say that we have partnerships at the Seafood Promotion Board. The Louisiana State Tourism has been a great supporter. Uh, we're anticipating visitors from out of state and out of town that are already booking rooms here. So we're really excited that we're going to be bringing some additional sales tax and hotel motel tax to the area, which is greatly needed. Um, and then on Saturday, uh, we'll have approximately, um, well, on Friday night, let me uh, come, uh, finish, we're going to have the balloon glow that starts at dusk. And that's when the balloons light up and it's very pretty and it's going to get everyone excited. We'll, uh, have some food and, uh, and a band and from 5 to 10. And then Saturday will be the full festival. It starts from 10 to 10. Uh, we ask that you pray for good weather because the balloons participation is highly uh, based upon weather, of course, yeah. and, uh, and, and the wind. So uh, they'll be here regardless, but depending on the wind conditions will determine how much we can tether people up and... And, uh, and, and actually how much uh, activity we can have with, uh, we anticipate a balloon race in the morning. 
So we're gonna have a lot of good food, a lot of good Cajun music. Uh, we're gonna have arts and crafts booths. Um, we're gonna have some uh, displays of duck carvings and actually, um, and, and other things that are true to our culture and heritage here. We've incorporated a, a car show out of a, a big demand also for that day. Mr. Larry has a flyer. You can go to our website, labbfest.com. It has all the information um, about sponsorships, um, participation, and all of the activities for the day. So I hope that you can attend and that you'll share it uh, with everyone because I think it's going to be uh, an, an awesome opportunity for everyone to come and learn about our parish and our community. Any questions? Yeah, what's um, out, outside of the, you know, attracting people to, to add to our tax base, you know, for that weekend, what's, what's the... Um, okay, um, so um, our proceeds will be going to help fund a low-cost spay and neuter clinic that we have, um, uh, I have a building, the old uh, La Salette Church in Golden Meadow, and we have put in uh, St. Amelia's Animal Care Center there, and uh, so we're uh, typically a vet may charge 450 for a dog to get spayed or neutered. We're only charging $100. So the proceeds that we get at the festival will help offset these expenses because the parish shelter has seen a cut in their budget. Um, just due to the rising cost of everything of inflation, people are really struggling to keep their pets. And so we're trying to meet that demand and, uh, and help everyone be able to uh, keep their pets and have affordable vet care. Uh, we're bringing in vets from other areas that come once a month to perform these surgeries for us. We're not typically a vet clinic, we're a spay neuter clinic and we'll schedule these once a month. And like I said, the proceeds from this festival will help offset the difference in those costs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, and congratulations for getting this. Thank you. Off Thank, the you. Thank you very sure. much. Thank you. All right. Any other public comment? All right. Moving on. Committees. <coughs> got, we'll start with the executive committee. Members are Chuck e. Shelby Chairman, Rodney J. Disclair, Larry Griffin, and Jimmy LaFont. First, we have consider approving the request from C Support Doc and Logistics to renew right of first refusal on site GLF 320 and GLF 321. Okay, uh, C Support Ventures would like to um, have another year of right of first refusal on those two sites. Recommendation to approve. Need a motion. Move by Mr. Ted Sawa, second by Mr. Larry Griffin. Any public comment? Any discussion? I mean, public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <clears throat> motion passed. <clears throat> Next, we have consider approving the request from Seacorp Marine to extend the mooring agreement and flotation canal. All right, this is for um, two live boats to dock in Flotation Canal when they need it. Recommendation to approve. All right, you need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Rodney Justclair, second by Mr. Mike Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the advertisement for summer employment. All right, uh, we do this on an annual basis. This year, we're going to accept applications for four uh, summer positions, recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. By Mr. Larry Griffin, second by Mr. Tom Pete. Any discussion? Any public comment? All I'm gonna say is, this year we have an, uh, what we hire, four people? Four. Four, that uh, this is to help out the college kids who are going to college for the port to help out our community. So any local kids are looking to have employment or to come work, fill in the application, we're more than happy to go ahead and we've had a, a good show up in the past, so this is to help out the local kids going to college. All right, need a uh, motion. I got a motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, consider approving the bid for the 2023 SUV. All right, we uh, put our bids for uh, 2023 Chevrolet Traverse LS or equivalent on, on March 6th. We accepted those bids at 10 a.m. We received one bid from Golden Motors uh, for $32,218.18. Recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move, move, move by Mr. Mike Collier, second by Larry Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion passed. We're getting out of the executive committee, going into permits and waterways. Members are Rodney, just got our chairman, Ted Savoy, 
Tom Pete and Chucky Sheridan. Mr. Gistler, your turn. Thank you, Mr. Sheridan. Uh, we're going to review the uh, permits that have been applied. Uh, first one is uh, Greater Lafourche Port Commission. The applicant has requested a permit reissuance to perform maintenance dredging of accumulated sediments <clears throat> at both Slip C and the Flotation Canal. The dredge material would be placed within a previously authorized disposal area, approximately 11,200 cubic yards of material would be temporarily displaced in open water for constructing retainer levees. Next, we have Perdido Energy, Louisiana LLC. A proposed uh, prop washing is, and structures for drilling the Allen, Allen Land Company number two well, approximately 1.3 acres of open water habitat may be impacted. I do have a comment on that one, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Um, we typically write letters uh, you know, in opposition of prop washing. This one, um, and, and we have received information from DNR that they typically don't say anything and allow prop washing for up to 24 or 25,000 cubic yards uh, of material to be displaced. This is uh, just under 8,000 cubic yards of material. If, if you wish for us to write a letter anyway, we can, but there won't be any response to our letter because of yeah. their policy. That's fine. Thank you for doing that. Next, we have Mr. Joseph Babin, proposed rebuilding of existing dock that was damaged during Hurricane Ida in Lafourche Parish. Next, we have the South Lafourche Levy District in Lafourche Parish. The operation started at the floodgate construction site and worked northward to the laydown yard slip, clearing access within the channel by relocating marsh grass and vegetation towards the channel banks. Next, we have Apache, Louisiana Minerals, LLC. Proposed earthen structures, <coughs> terraces, with vegetative plantings, canal cleanout, earthen plug maintenance, and tank line bank line stabilization. Next, we have Lafourche Parish Government. Proposed dredging of 3.25 mile portion of Grand Bayou and placement of spoil material along the existing spoil bank. The dredging is necessary to restore access. And next we have the Greater Lafourche Port Commission. Maintenance dredge of Seaport Slip 789 in Port Fouchon, approximately 8,440 cubic yards of dredge material. And Mr. Chair, I uh, think that completes the, the permit <coughs> waterways report. All right, Mr. Jiska, thank you very much. We're getting out of permits. We're going to construction and development. Members are Chris Colley, Chairman, my colleague, General Lafon, Chuck Sherman. Mr. Colley, your turn. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. First up, we have considered approval the substantial completion certificate from APC Construction for Slip C Bulkhead Project. The project is substantially complete. Recommendation to approve. Need a motion. Moved by Mr. Colley, seconded by Mr. Jim Lafon. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Item two, consider approving the lowest responsive bid for the PAPI LED upgrades. Lowest responsive bid was from Preferred Electric Incorporated for $111,020. Recommendation to approve. Right. Need a motion. Moved by Mr. John Mellison, second by Mr. Uh, Ted Savoy. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Number three, consider approving change order number three from onshore construction for the Fouchon Pavilion. This change order is for an increase of $19,590.23. As you heard earlier, recommendation to approve. Motion. <coughs> Moved by Larry second. Griffin, second by Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Number four, consider approving the lowest responsive bid for the flotation canal and front commercial marina dredge project. All right, this low bid was from Coastal Dredging Company Incorporated for $3,802,492.60. Recommendation to approve. 
Need a motion. I move. Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Jim Lafon. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Number five, we have consider approving change order number two from PCOLA Construction for the administration office repair. All right, this is a, a change order for $1,932.77 for a new hatch on the roof. Recommendation to approve. Yeah, need a motion. Moved by Mr. Rodney Jessica, second by Mr. Tom P. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Item six, consider approving change order number four from Tidewater Dock for the boat lift roof and wharf repair project. All right, this change order is for $129,250.31 for um, more work that needs to be done on those wharves. Get a motion. Moved by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Ted Salvo. Any discussion? <coughs> Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. <coughs> Item seven, consider approving the partial substantial completion certificate from Tidewater Dock for the boat lift roof and wharf repair project. This partial substantial completion is for portions of work that have been completed. Recommendation to approve. All right, in a motion. Moved by Mr. Chris Colley, seconded by Mr. Tom P. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, motion passed. Item eight, consider approving the Hurricane Ida Recovery Grant Agreement. All right, this is a, a grant agreement with um, the parish that allows us to collect the funds that are in um, <coughs> the account for our Hurricane Ida repairs to um, facilities, buildings. Uh, we have actually a million dollars that is gonna be held at the parish that we can uh, go back and receive uh, when we show that we've made a million dollars of repairs to uh, damaged buildings from Hurricane Ida. All right. Need a motion. Move by Mike second. Colley, second by Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion's passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Construction and Development Committee report. All right, Mr. Colley, thank you very much. Now we're going into Finance Committee. Members are John Nelson, Jr. Chairman, Larry Griffin, Chris Colley, and Chuckie Sheridan. Mr. Melisson, your turn. Good morning and thank you, Mr. President. We'll begin by consider approving payments of the February 2023 invoices and recognizing those over $25,000. Our first item is the U.S. Corps of Engineers, $653,000 even, and that's for the feasibility analysis for Bell Pass Channel. Item two, Tidewater Dock Incorporated, $191,825.97. Hurricane Ida restoration <laughs> damages. Item three, Piciola Construction Company, LLC, $187,099.65. Hurricane Ida repairs to the administration building. Item four, Tosh, LLC. $175,165.75, Hurricane Ida repairs to Fushan sites. Item five, Sea Level Construction Incorporated, $154,681.90, Airport Connector Road and Bridge Project. Item six, Plaisance Dragline and Dredging, $137,732.47, dredging of the Nerby Collins Marina. Item seven, Angelette Design, LLC, $80,891.56. That is for Fouchon Island Permit Development, the Fouchon Bridge, along with Fouchon Beach Maintenance, Restoration, and Protection. Item eight, GIS Engineering, $79,510.31. And that's for General Engineering, Slip D Bulkhead, Hurricane Ida Restoration, GAO Terminal Building, and the Pappy LED Upgrades. Item nine, Onshore Construction Company, LLC, $76,785.89, Flotation Canal Pavilion. Item 10, Piciola and Associates, $74,200.56. That's for the Airport Connector Road and Bridge, Slip Sea Sweep Dredge Part 2, Flotation Canal Road Drainage Replacement and Paving, 
flotation canal mooring dolphin and frontage commercial dredging, hurricane auto repairs to bathhouse. <clears throat> Item 11, Grand Isle Shipyard, $72,062.44. <clears throat> hurricane auto repairs to airport buildings along with contract labor for the airport. Item 12, expert technology, $59,730. Even that's for camera equipment. Item 13, APC Construction, LLC, $44,557.08. That's for Slip Seat Bulkhead Part 2. Item 14, CSRS Disaster Recovery Management, LLC, $33,233.75. The gra Disaster Grant Management Consultant for Hurricane Ida. Item 15, Golden Motors, $32,218.18. 2023 Chevrolet Traverse. Item 16, Black Hawk Datacom, $28,306.56. Equipment to rewire administration building. Item 17, Bank of America, $25,089.97. And that's for monthly port credit card charges. These expenditures, along with the rest, bring us to a grand total of $2,404,019.14. And Mr. Griffin, if I made no mistakes. You're getting better, we'd like to find one. I'd like to make a motion we accept these expenditures. All right, great. I got a motion by Mr. John Mellison, second by Larry Griffin, since he said it was all good. Mm -hmm. Any discussion, Mr. Griffin? No. All right. You got it. Any other discussions? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion pass. Next we have, as discussed on Monday night's committee meetings, consider approving the February 2023 preliminary financial statements. And Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept this. All right, I got a motion by Mr. Mellison, second by Mr. Thomas P. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Also discussed on Monday night, Mr. President, was approving the Louisiana Compliance Questionnaire. And if we have no discussion on that, I'd like to make a motion we accept this. Okay, I've got a motion by Second. Mr. Larry Mellison, second by my colleague. Any discussion? Just, just to be clear for the, the general Number public two. watching. Number two. Yeah. No, he did that one. He did that one. He did that one, too, yeah. yeah. So this, this Compliance Questionnaire is what we do every year for our audit, for our annual audit. So. Right. Need to approve that. Any okay. other discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. And last, Mr. President, we have consider approving the out of state travel and training request. On our first request, we have Director Chasson, along with Special Counsel for Offshore Wind, Lulin Petrie, attending the Louisiana Delegation H2 Trade Mission for renewable energy. Next we have Director Chasson attending the Sharing Offshore Revenues for Energy Sources Congressional Fly-In in Washington, D.C., March 21st through the 22nd. Next we have Harbor <coughs> Police Officer Luke Adams attending the TAC Flow Ballistic Shield Instruction Program in Tennessee, March 26th through the 21st. Next, we have Director Chasson attending the Offshore Technology Conference in Houston, Texas, May 1st through the 3rd. And last, we have Director Chasson along with Commissioner Rodney Gisclair and Commissioner Tom Petrie attending the Gulf Ports Association Spring Meeting in Galveston, Texas, May 3rd through the 5th. And I'm going to go back on the first one. It was in Houston, Texas, March 9th through the 9th. I think I may have forgot that. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept these out-of-state travel and training requests. Okay, I got a motion from Mr. John Mellison, second from Mr. Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Finance Committee report. All right, thank you, Mr. Mellison. Any other business? Any public comment? I move that we adjourn. We got a motion by Mr. Jimmy Lafont to adjourn, second by Mr. Thomas P. Any discussion? Any public comment? 
All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. I'd like to thank for everyone for coming up to the port, the port meeting. I just want to say something on behalf of the board and our, everyone. Summer's coming around. Everyone that's going to the beach and on the waterways, be safe. Life jackets on kids, most important thing, but everyone be safe on that water. All right, meeting's adjourned. Thank you. Uh, huh? I'm not the radio. You forgot to say. <laughs>